Welcome back everybody. This is the indoor tour of my 2016 Cascadia Evolution Automatic. I'm going to go into detail kind of what I have in here. If the camera would focus. Anyway. Uh, again, it's an automatic. So I don't have a shifter in between the two seats. The... Uh, well, I'll start from this side first. Of course, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. The mirrors are also heated. So that's nice in the winter. You've got... Um, let me start at the top also. You've got lots of storage space here. That's where I keep all my cleaning supplies, armor all wipes, such like that. Cargo net in this area, which is pretty deep I mean it's I've got a Kleenex box and that's aspirin and stuff like that that's kind of where I keep my uh, somewhat medical supplies you have a little lower pocket here which is pretty pretty good size keep a notebook there with all my load information and things like that that I carry into the Shippers and receivers so that they know uh, what load I'm picking up. Sunscreen, of course, you got to have that. Uh, this Basically, what I keep in here is, uh, you know, easily accessible while I'm driving. Uh, let see, gum, hand sanitizer, stuff like that. This is a, uh, of course, a CB radio. Man, I'm saying of course a lot, aren't I? Uh, CB radio. I've got the Cobra Classic 29. I bought at a TA truck stop for 99 bucks. Was, I thought it was a good deal, so I picked it up. The this is typically a uh, sun visor or sunglass holder, but you can like like this one, but you can take it out and it's. I guess it's designed perfectly for a CB radio, so uh, that's where that goes. Up here you have two more little uh, cubby holes. They're kind of short, or they're not very tall, but they go back a good ways. So I kind of keep my paperwork up there, all my, my permit book, my safety vest, some crackers, stuff like that to, to munch on that I I can reach from the seat so it's kind of like an emergency I'm starving type food uh, I've got the uh, this grim keeper I think that's what it's called something like that yeah gear keeper sorry came with the CB radio as a bundle uh, with so 99 bucks came with the CB radio and the um, and this gear keeper thing so it's really nice uh, I like black ice little trees that's just me in this cubby hole I keep all my um, my trip pack envelopes my stickers that need to go on to my bills of lading which basically is just what trailer number I used and what the load number is and then I keep these uh, do this these little uh, fiber I, what do you call them well, fiber cloth to uh, wipe down my dash and stuff like that when it starts to get real dusty and then I just hang just shake it outside the window and um, it's good so I keep that because that's kind of one of my pet peeves is to have dust and stuff like that on my dashes on my gauges dashes on my gauges while I'm driving that's kind of that's a big annoyance to me so I keep that uh, easily accessible passenger side you have the same little cubby hole net up there sunglass holder same little pocket here I keep my hats my uh, cold weather beanie um, some trail mix kind of have food all over this place so <laughs> 
bear with me. Over here, I just kind of keep some random, some random, actually this is another notebook and a spoon. Oh, nice, I need that. Over here, you have the same thing as on that side. It's just another pocket, and of course, I keep uh, more cleaning stuff. I'm somewhat of a clean, clean freak. Not ex not obsessively, but uh, I like to have my truck as clean as possible. So I keep I keep uh, Clorox wipes. Got to have your Clorox disinfectant wipes, and then I also keep uh, Lysol, which is good to clean. This is what I clean my floors with. This is what I the, the Lysol or the Clorox wipes is what I. Wipe down my door and, uh, you know, stuff that I touch with my hands. Let's see. Well, that covers the top part here. Um, that's where I put pictures of my family. This truck does have a uh, privacy curtain for the front window. And it's also got the divider curtain for the uh, to separate the front and the, and the back if you have a co-driver co or something like that. Um, so I'm going to sit down in the seat here. This truck is specced out with uh, the chrome uh, gauge covers there. So that's, I, some trucks don't have them. Some trucks are just black. Uh, this is uh, my steering wheel cover that I prefer. It just feels good in my hand. I bought, I bought, I think it cost me like 20 bucks at a, at a truck stop. Uh, I got it because, you know, uh, the steering wheel is th kind of thin and it was making my hand cramp. Uh, so this gives me just a better feel and it's, it makes the steering wheel a little bit thicker. So, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it I noticed my hands don't cramp up nearly as bad. This truck has, uh, 90, 90, 90, almost 95,000 on it now, I think. Oh, I hit 95. Yeah, so 95,000 miles on it. So far, it's been incredible. I have not had a single engine uh, problem or transmission problem at all. It's been, so far, knock on wood, it's been a, it's, it's been a, it's been a workhorse. Very, very reliable. It is an automatic truck transmission. I believe it's a 12 speed transmission. It's very easy. Uh, the truck is off right now, so it's in my, so there's, it's not gonna hurt anything, but uh, you're just in neutral. When you're ready to go, you have to put your foot on the, on the service brake, and then you can flip it to drive, and, and it'll, it'll go in gear. Uh, to you have to be sure that your foot is on that service pedal though because if, if you uh, if you flip it to drive it won't go in gear it'll stay in neutral so um, so you just rotate this back and forth it has two modes a manual and an automatic so when it's an automatic you just flip it and drive and just mass just push down the fuel pedal and it will shift automatically for you there's the, at the correct rpm to save to save fuel and everything and then if you want to switch it into manual manual mode all you got to do is just push push you know push inwards and that'll switch from automatic to manual mode once it's in manual mode uh, you flip the this lever either towards you or away from you uh, if you press towards you it'll gear up so if I'm in 10th gear if I go like you know if I press towards me it'll go to 11th if I'm in 10th gear and I push away from me it'll go into 9th gear the engine brake is also on this uh, lever here so you have your three stages uh, up is off and then you have stage one two 
and three. Three being the highest. This engine brake works very, very well. It's very strong. I've heard some people say that the automatics engine brakes are aren't worth a damn. But uh, in, in this case, uh, I disagree that, at least in this truck, the engine brake is very, uh, very, very good. Uh, one nice thing about the Freightliners is I, I really enjoy is you have the cruise control on the steering wheel. So you on, off, accelerate or uh, resume, cancel, uh, decelerate, and set. Uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you have your city horn here. And that, uh, this is... So uh, normally Freightliners usually have the engine brake here on, on these buttons. But in this case, this button is not used for anything. This button is for your marker uh, to interrupt your marker lights. So if you're saying thank you to another truck or something like that you can press that button and it'll make your um your marker lights uh, uh dim in and out every time every time you push that button uh, these plus and minus buttons are for the dash uh it's for the little dash computer for your trip and stuff like that that's kind of how, how you cycle through them. So that those, that's what those are for. Um, I wish they had stereo controls on here instead of this or that. But, and, and so in my opinion, these three buttons should be used for the stereo. But they're not, so. Uh, left side here, you've got your uh, windshield wipers. Push, push down for your uh, washers fluid. And just like a car, you rotate it for your different speeds. And uh, you push forward for high beam and backwards uh, to uh, just for regular low beams. Of course, you've got your uh, light switch here, which is uh, parking lights, first stage. Third stage is the, uh, or second stage is your headlights. Your key goes down right here. This pedal is to uh, telescope the steering wheel up and down. And as you can tell, my camera, see, there's no clutch. <laughs> so it took a while to get used to, but there's, uh, there's no clutch, so don't be hitting the clutch. Took me a while, but you'll get used to it. This is the standard factory uh, stereo. It's got Bluetooth which I don't know if it's just my truck or what, but the, the, um, the microphone is right there. But it doesn't seem to work very well. It's, it's got horrible feedback and um, it, it doesn't seem to work good at all. So I never use it. It's got Sirius uh, XM, AM, FM, of course, MP3 player. So you do have your... Um, USB right here on the side also an auxiliary port you can plug your phone or iPod whatever you want and also CD player cubby hole here I use to put my wallet and some uh, like granola bars or something like that S quick uh, quick uh, snacks easily accessible again <laughs> Trailer parking, uh, tractor and trailer parking brakes. I've swapped these knobs out. There you go. I've swapped these knobs out with uh, some aftermarket ones just because the the regular plastic ones, when you when I pulled out, they would uh, kind of hurt my hand. So these are a little bit more uh, sturdy and they feel much better when you pull out. So you've got your dashboard dim switches to make it brighter, uh, brighter and, uh, and, and dimmer. Your hazard switch, your foot light, your foot well light, which is uh, 
I think I have to have my key on to do it. But it basically just illuminates down here, red, when, when that switch is on. Uh, you've got the, your second set of switches here. You've got your regen switch, which I never use. Uh, my truck usually always regens when I'm driving. Uh, engine shutdown override. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what that does. Because... Uh, so I'm not sure if that's for idling or, or what. But when I... So this truck will shut off after five minutes of running unless you turn on the, um, the cruise control. You have to turn on the cruise control and uh, this little light, orange light will flash right there. And while, when that's flashing, then you press um, accelerate, this one right here. The, en the engine RPMs will increase a little bit, maybe up to like 8,000 or something like that. And then the truck won't shut off. So, I, I'm not sure what that engine override is. Maybe it's the same thing. I, I don't know. This is your uh, uh, automatic traction control. This is your hill override. So, this again, this is an automatic truck. So, if I'm on an incline and I let go of the service brake, the truck will not roll backwards if the truck is at a certain angle you can disable that with this switch here I don't know why you would want your truck to roll backwards when you let go of the service brake but if you do there it is menu switch this is this cycles also through your uh, computer on your dash so that's what that is um, I did have other buttons here. If you look at my past videos, I did a video on how to move your rocker switches. Um, and, I, and I moved them up there. So, you know, just because when I had things in my cup holder here, I, I couldn't access these, uh, I couldn't access basically this entire panel. So I moved those switches up there, which is much better. So you've got your utility lamp which are the la the lights back behind the the cab of the truck in between the cab and the trailer so at night when you're hooking up it's much easier you've got your dome light which is that light right there not the two on the side but that but that one in the middle right there so uh that's nice to control from here your lane alert uh, disable switch and your uh, heated mirror switch. The lane alert is kind of a, is a safety feature in this truck. You'll notice that box right there. It has a little camera on it, and whenever it detects that I'm going out of my lane, uh, you know, crossing over the solid white line or the dotted line, it'll beep at me, and that's that's what that camera is. Uh, it, it's picking up the the lane markers on the on the road so if you hit this switch it'll disable that camera but it'll only disable it for like 15 minutes you'll have to it'll automatically come back on it was very annoying but it's safety says that it works so it does you have uh, pre-pass in this truck and that's that's what I use for my dash cam. I'm testing it out right now. It's a Cobra. Ugh, I forget what it is. Cobra HDR, something like that. I'm probably going to be returning it though. I'm not really. It doesn't work during uh, nighttime, so that's kind of a, a big deal, a deal breaker. Uh, let's see. So you got your temperature controls here heater air conditioning all that good stuff this works really good this is uh, just some velcro that I have on uh, I have it on the back of my phone the other the, the fuzzy side is on the back of my phone and I and I stick my phone right there I, I'm 
I guess I'm too cheap to buy a cell phone carrier or you know what I mean a, a holder so I had some extra industrial velcro and I just stuck it there if I ever move out of the truck sorry about that my battery is getting really low so I kind of got to speed things up uh, right here we have your uh, differential lock which for your uh, for your drives in the back very nice here we have your fifth wheel release so if you need to slide your fifth wheel which is pretty random and this is to lower your uh, suspension in the back so to get you to lower your fifth wheel uh, well, you got those three switches right there that pretty much does it for the for the front part here you have two power outlets one here and one here and I have a, a dual uh, converter so it's it's run one's running my dash cam and the other one's running this white Coleman cooler uh, this company uses drive tech and people net yes it is kind of big and clunky but uh, I hated it at first but now I love it uh, it's got a big screen and very easy to read navigation and all that fun stuff so this is uh, just to show you this is the amount of miles that this it's just an example not every week is like this but uh, you know this company's got really good really good freight so uh, you know if, if you're ready to run this company's got has got the miles for you I think that comes out to like 3,700 miles or something like that really good uh, cup holders right there very nice and easy and convenient what else uh, guess I'll just move on so I use um, I got this at a uh, the, the Iowa truck stop it's basically just a um, a seat cover it's got a, it's for it's it's for the your back and us and uh, and your butt because these these Freightliner seats aren't the um, aren't the most comfortable in the world, so that was a I think that was a good investment. Keeps my keeps my butt from getting numb. Um, so my trash can here, I throw all my trash in there, uh, and I looked all over for a lid for something to to put on it because sometimes you might not be able to throw your trash for like a day or or something like that or you throw a can of soup and you, you know it's gonna smell up your whole truck so I found that at Walmart um, trucks have good you know I they're, they're in my opinion they're cheap seats they're you know they're not like a uh, that that can be it could be greatly improved the lumbar support is not the best but uh, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Uh, decent sized little glove box. I basically put my FMCSA manual and stuff like that in there. I keep this Coleman cooler in between my two seats. I keep all my um, uh, my quick and drinks. Basically, I keep my uh, waters. Uh, soda, which I don't really drink too much soda, but I, I keep one or I keep like a six pack in there for reserves in case I need uh, uh, I'm getting tired or something like that uh, I keep my coffee creamer in there Basically my, my liquids some fruit some applesauce stuff like that Basically just whatever I while I'm driving I can reach I can open this reach my hand in there grab something to drink and this this Coleman cooler I've had it for uh, maybe like six or six to eight months so far, and it's it's worked great so far so good thumbs up. So you pick it up at the truck stop for ninety nine, eighty nine or ninety nine bucks. So I'll, I'll rotate here. Uh, this is the the back of the of the truck. Um, to me, this is what how I do it. My shoes never leave that driving area like I always take my feet 
or I, I always take my shoes off right here. Um, it's that, that goes as far as anyone in my truck. So this is, you know, shoes only area. Um, if, if you're coming back here, you're going to, you're going to take your shoes off just because you're walking around in so much gross stuff. That's why my floors look so so clean and stuff like that and I keep them clean because I don't allow shoes back here um, got a uh, this carpet here which is this this rubber mat gets cold sometimes so it's just kind of a nice soft thing to put your foot feet on on the left side here we have a storage cabinet I usually keep my case of water or um, anything like big you know, case of water, an extra case of Coke, or um, just extra storage down there. It's it's pretty good size, too. It's, you know, it's probably a good two feet high or so. Um, you got your refrigerator here. That's my, um, my magnet right there. Yes, it's I Love Weed, California. It's a, it's a city in California, so don't get crazy. Uh, this is made by Dometic. I put a, something, little cloth right there to help it from rattling. And it's, I mean, it's a, it's a decent fridge. You know what I'm saying? I keep um, pickles, mayonnaise, mustard, jalapenos, uh, cheese. What do I got here? Uh... Cream cheese for my bagels. Uh, I'm going to go shopping here tomorrow probably. But uh, Lunchables, uh, jelly, lunch meat. Uh, those little sausages, the Vienna sausages or whatever they're called I keep in there. Um, this, this is usually more stocked. I usually keep yogurts and... Um, some fruit and stuff like that, but I'm I'm running really low. Uh, the, that the the freezer is really really small. You know, it's just basically you can. I got. I I, I usually keep my um. My my frozen. Oh, I got burritos flying all over. I usually keep my frozen um, breakfast sandwiches, burritos, uh, lasagna, or something. Anything I can fit in there, but as you can see, it's not much at all. I actually might go to Walmart tonight. So it's that's really nice. Here I have my um, the DVR for the Direct TV. I have my coffee pot, which I usually make coffee every single morning. This is what I use: Dunkin' Donuts, caramel coffee. This stuff's really good. Um, let's see, what else? I keep uh, some Tupperware stuff in there for my microwave when I put soup and stuff like that. And um, this cabinet here, right, which is right above that, that's what I use, uh, that's where I keep my, my, my microwave. I've got some tortillas, um, paper towels, up there, uh, my cereal... Um, some bread and that's it it fits nice and perfect in there I heat up whatever I need it's uh, that's that's really nice to have if you don't have a microwave in your truck you're, you're really missing out uh, but I've been there done that I know what it feels like I have uh, my t TV mounted right here the previous driver had already the mount on the uh, truck so uh, I just uh, connected the uh the dvr to it and that was it uh so when i'm laying in bed it's uh it's a perfect perfect angle for me uh on this side here you've got your um this cabinet here is for storage so this is where i keep all my um uh soups and uh stuff like that my Ziploc bags, plastic silverware, stuff like that. So as you can see, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty well, well stocked on food. 
Um, because you never know when you're gonna break down or weather conditions or anything like that. So you gotta be sure you got a, you got food in the truck. This uh, is your pull out drawer. I just keep some some random stuff in there, some uh, plastic knives and spoons, um, just random stuff, kit, um, kit cats, screwdriver, scissors. I wear contacts, so that's what that is. Um, this is what I use to clean my dishes with. This is, uh, you know, you put, I, it's empty right now, but uh, I put soap in here and um, keep it in this plastic bag. Makes it nice and simple. These are extra contacts for me. And it fits nice and perfect. Boom. Uh, over here, it's just a nice little cubby hole. I keep, like, sauces, like Taco Bell uh, packets and ketchup and condiment stuff in there. I have a little Duracell 12-volt uh, inverter, which I use to power my, um, God, what do you call it, heating pad for my back or and stuff like that when I have, uh, when I feel my back's getting real tight or something. My inverter is uh, installed behind my driver's seat, and I just have a really, uh, long power strip you I think it's got like a 20 20 foot cable or something like that that I've routed up under there under my under my bunk bed whatever you want to call it Let's turn some lights and um, I've just got it mounted back uh, back behind my uh, TV there with uh, industrial velcro so it works really good Uh, so this TV is, is mounted on a swivel thing. Um, I put a sock here because uh, it vibrates uh, when, when I'm going down the road because this collapses to here. And in between these two, these two metal things, uh, they, they vibrate. So I just threw uh, a sock in there to stop it from vibrating. And I use a, uh, once it's collapsed down on the side, I use a bungee strap to go around the TV and keep it secure so it's not flying around. It works. Top bunk here, which I don't really use. Uh, I throw sometimes, uh, you know, just some random stuff up there, but I try to keep it as clean as possible because then you have stuff falling down, if, especially if you have to hit the brakes or something. Uh, light changes on you or something like that uh, backpack you got to be sure you have a backpack with you uh, to go take your showers and stuff like that uh, toaster I keep uh, usually underneath my bunk but I was using it this morning uh, those uh, covers come off they just snap on there's for, for, for privacy and then you can you can open up those windows or, or, or whatever same thing with those. Those are just snap-on privacy things. The be the bunk does lift up. Uh, it's getting kind of dark t right now, but there's just a little latch right there. You you uh, push that way and lift up. I have a suitcase under there. My skillet. I, I would lift that up, but honestly, the camera probably won't even pick it up with the light. Um, suitcase, uh, electric skillet, and uh, over on this side over here is where I keep my dirty laundry in the, in a laundry bag. And then I, I do laundry like once a week whenever I, I get routed back here to the terminal. Uh, this longer, so right above this little cubby hole here, uh, this is where I keep all my clothes. Uh, so th this, I really like this little hanger thing here because I can separate my pants and my shirts and socks and all that fun stuff. Uh, bath, uh, shower towel. I, I use my own shower towel. I, I don't use the truck stops. Um, there's my 
weather jackets, stuff like that. And this is my, uh, my, what do you want to say, toiletry bag, I guess, where I keep all my um, toothbrush, uh, deodorant, uh, nail clipper, every everything like that I keep in this bag. So when it's time to take a shower, I just take this entire black bag, throw it in my backpack, grab my towel there, grab my clothes, and uh, jam out. So everything's in there nice and neat. But yeah, uh, so this is my home away from home. You gotta, you gotta keep it as clean and, and, and as, in my opinion, as, as home, as homey as it can be. Uh, and as clean as can be, um, because if you're if you're getting sick and and all that stuff, it's not you know you you, you can't work if you're um, you can't work if you're sick all the time. So that's pretty much it. That includes the pretty much tour of my truck. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that I'd be happy to answer them again my disclaimer I'm not trying to um, you know steer anyone towards this company or get a referral or anything like that I'm just giving the information out there so people can you know have a little bit more information of what what they're getting into because when I looked into the company there was none of this out here um, at least for this company so I, I hope I'm able to help some others make their decision so uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I really won't be making any more videos as far as my truck is concerned and um, I am going to make another video or so regarding the uh, new driver's lounge it's, it, since I'm here at the terminal. And that's it. I hope everyone has a great day again. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.